G'day, Chris here and welcome back to Clickspring. I'm in the process of fitting these wheel collets to their arbors. The arbors have been made from hardened and tempered pivot steel and I'd like them to be a close fit in the collet holes, the sort of fit you'd expect to get from a reamer. Now pivot steel is supplied in a wide range of sizes that loosely correspond to the numbered drill system. It's unlikely I'd be able to find a commercial reamer that would match the size I'm using today, but fortunately I don't need to. I can make a simple reamer from the steel itself and know that the reamed hole will perfectly match the arbor. Starting with a new piece of blued pivot steel, I've loaded it into this simple holder that gives me a quick way to index for three sides. That allows me to use the belt sander to form the three flats. It's a 60 grit belt and I'm keeping the angle with the belt quite shallow, about 5 to 10 degrees. I'm also keeping the contact with the belt very short. The steel is hardened and I don't want to draw the temper beyond what it already is. A quick touch to the top and the result is this truncated pyramid. The three facets are then lightly honed on a fine oil stone to knock off the burr from the grinder and to bring up the cutting edge. And it doesn't take much, just a few strokes for each face and the reamer is ready for use. The hole to be reamed is drilled slightly undersized as normal so that the reamer has something to cut. In this case, I'm drilling 2.3mm to ream 2.46mm. And then the reamer simply follows the drilled hole at a moderate RPM with a little cutting fluid. Now there are a few drawbacks to using this sort of reamer. It has no flutes, so it needs to be backed off regularly to clear the chips, particularly if using it on steel. It also can't really cut very much metal, just a few thou so the initial drill size selection is important. If the sizing is correct, the chips coming off will be very fine, like this. A cross section of the cutter shows that the geometry is negative rake, so it's probably fair to say that it's best suited to reaming brass, although it will still cut steel. In this shot, it's cutting some drill rod and again, making very fine chips. And finally, although it lasts very well on brass, it does lose its edge quite quickly on something like drill rod. When it does, just give it a quick touch on the belt sander and you're good to go again. It'll never beat the finish of a fluted high-speed steel reamer or be practical enough for high volume work, but it's a great way to get out of having to buy a reamer for a one-off small hole. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. If you'd like to see how the collets and arbors turned out, here's the video covering that process. And if you're new to Clickspring, thanks for dropping by. I post regular home machine shop project videos, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.